Many of you have asked me if monkeypox is airborne. That's an excellent question, so we're gonna answer that today to the best of our ability. Uh, let's first start with what we know. Now, we know that monkeypox can spread to anyone through close, personal, often skin-to-skin -skin contact, right? So that means, what does that mean? Direct contact with monkeypox rash or scabs on someone who has it. Uh, that also means touching objects or fabrics or surfaces that have been used uh, by somebody with monkeypox uh, or through contact with respiratory secretions. Now, we also know uh, that a pregnant person can spread the the virus to their fetus through the placenta. That information, by the way, uh, is according to the CDC. It's on the CDC website, but I also must say that the World Health Organization has something very similar on their website. So is it airborne or is it not? Well, let me just be honest with you. There have been some uh, preprint studies that suggest that it might be airborne. And honestly, I've talked to some infectious disease doctors that are saying, hmm, I, I wonder if it is airborne. On the other side, though, I've talked to plenty of physicians who do not believe it's airborne. But let's be clear. I mean, the CDC and the World Health Organization, you can go to their websites and see that they don't list airborne transmission as a mode of transmission at this time. And let's go back to what the CDC said on June 9th and a media press release. The CDC at that time said that long range, aka airborne transmission of monkeypox has not uh, been reported. 